What is the hardest concept to grasp when we talk about law of attraction, when we talk about abundance? Like what's really the kind of the, the hardest thing to kind to to kind of understand or it takes a while for you to finally understand it. And in my opinion, it's this. Law of attraction works for us in a positive and negative way. You see that people that think law of attraction doesn't work or abundance is only for certain people, but not, not yourself. It is working. But what's happening is it's working in the way that you don't want it to work. Okay, law of attraction is working, but it's bringing you things that you don't want. Abundance is working in your life, but it's bringing things into your life that you don't want. Okay, it's not bringing what you do want. Why is that? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. I mean, what's going on? What's happening? You see, really what's kind of happening is we have to pay attention to, once we're aware, we're aware of what, our, what we're doing, we're aware of our thoughts, we're aware of our deep thoughts, okay? We're aware of the secret you, sometimes I like to, I like to talk about, okay? That the secret you is the private you, your secret thoughts, thoughts that you don't tell everybody, thoughts you don't say out, say out loud, you just whisper to yourself. See, even though our secret thoughts, what we're secretly thinking is attracting to us. See, and this is the hardest concept for people to grasp. It's a hard concept for even for me to grasp. Because we always hear people say, if, if you don't like what's going on in, in your life right now today, well, you attracted that into your life. But it really comes down to your dominating thoughts. What are you thinking? What are you really thinking? If you're just outright honest, truthful with yourself, what are your dominant thoughts throughout the whole day? What are you thinking throughout the whole day? There's 24 hours in a day. What are you really thinking? That after, let's say you sleep for eight hours, there's another, what, 16 hours of waking hours? Your conscious mind is awake. What are your dominant thoughts throughout the whole day? What are your dominant patterns or your dominant behavior, your dominant habits throughout the whole day? And that's what's attracting into your life. What are you saying constantly to yourself? That's what you're attracting into your life. Those are the circumstances that are attracting into your life. What are you saying to yourself? See, this is one of the things when I used to go to Bob Proctor seminars, he would always say this at one point or another throughout his seminars. And this is what he would say. The problem with people, the issue with people not getting results, the issue with people not getting what they want is that they're not honest with themselves. If you want to get, you want to have the life of your dreams, you want to get everything that you want in your life, you have to be brutally honest with yourself. You have to be very truthful with yourself. The problem is people lie. People lie to themselves. And let me give you some examples really fast. They're not long-winded examples. When I used to work in nutrition, work in hospitals as a dietitian, nutritionist, and I would ask people about their diet. And maybe we would do like a three-day diet routine or a three-day menu so I could find out what they're eating on a daily basis. Maybe we do that for three days. Maybe it would be a seven day. And all, all the person would do is write down everything they eat throughout the day. Try to keep track of their servings a little bit so you know kind of the size of the meals. And this is what I found out even very early on in my career. People lie. People don't tell you the truth. You know what happens You know when they start writing down what they're eating? is they tell you their perfect day. They, they write down the perfect things they eat, and it's not even true. Or what they do is, if, if I give them a, a, a three-day diet analysis, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> if we do a three-day diet analysis, for those three days, they don't eat normal. They eat perfect. So it's not even, it's not, 
it's not even accurate going into what's going on with the whole diet scheme. They're not honest with themselves. They're, they're, they're giving you a, a false reality. They write a three-day diet analysis of foods they eat maybe once a month or once every three months. You know what I mean? So they don't get the results that they want because they're not honest and truthful. Same when we talk about law of attraction. Same when we talk about abundance. When we talk about you know negative self-talk, you hear so many people, well, I don't, I don't talk negative. I'm a positive person. Well, I don't, I don't do that. Really? So you have to be honest with yourself and be aware. Those are the two things. First, you got to be aware. Be aware of what you're doing. Then you have to be really honest with yourself that you are doing it. You do have negative, negative self-talk. The thing we have to realize is that negative self-talk, your dominant thoughts, if you're really honest with yourself, I can only assume your negative self-talk happens throughout the whole entire day. <laughs> I mean, some people, when they go to work, they hate their job. They go to work for 8, 10, 12 hours, Monday through Friday. They're negative self-talk the whole time they're at work. I mean, that's the majority of your day. Your mind's in the gutter. Then you can wonder why you're attracting junk into your life. But your mind's in the gutter most of the time, most of the day. Or... Or you see, you, you have a picture of your dream car, you know your dream car that you want, and you constantly see it all over. Then you, then you see the guy or the woman behind the steering wheel, and right away, you have the negative self-talk pop up. Right away, you you secretly make fun of them, or you secretly say, oh, what do they do for a living? Almost like, like a sarcastic, a negative sarca sarcastic comment to yourself. Or oh, I bet they scam people. You see, what happens is, as you put people down, as you get jealous, put people down, you can't have that. It won't come back to you. If you want wealth in your life, but if you make fun of wealthy people, other successful people, well, you can't have that into your life. You want your dream car, but you put down other people that have your dream car, well, your dream car is not going to come to you. This is how all this stuff works. This is what I mean in the beginning of this video, is this is probably the hardest thing for people and myself to grasp when we talk about abundance, when we talk about law of attraction, when we talk about law of assumption, you know, success in general, you know, attraction, having a better life. It's, it all comes down to us, but we have to be very, very honest and aware of what we're doing. Once we're aware and we're really honest with what's going on, we can start making adjustments. We can start fixing it. You see, in my own life, if I become aware and I become really honest with what I'm doing, then I start noticing, just like what the examples I gave in this video, I start noticing like, wait a second, Dude, I'm flipping negative most of the time throughout the day, my waking hours. I'm constantly thinking about what I don't want. I'm constantly thinking negative things about other people. I'm constantly thinking negative things about my situation. This is my dominant thoughts. And if these are my dominant thoughts, guess what? That's what's going to slowly start coming to me. I mean, it's, it, it is what it is. I mean, law of attraction, like the law of, gra the law of gra gravity, like I'm on the second floor of, of the house. And if I stepped out the window right here, well, I'm going to fall right to the ground. Law of attraction works just like the law of gravity. If I'm thinking my dominant thoughts are... Negative throughout the day, negative self-talk throughout, throughout the day, thinking about negative scenarios throughout the day, talking about it to myself. Okay, we all have self-talk. Okay, we all think about things and talk about it to other people, brings life to it, bring energy to it. Well, that's what's going to start coming to me because that's my dominant thoughts day after day, day after day, day after day. And those are the two things we have to do once we become aware of it. Once we're really honest with ourselves and we catch ourselves and we realize, dude, I'm doing this most of the time throughout the whole day. I need to stop. I need to start adjusting. And it takes work. Let me trust. Trust me. It takes a lot of work. And it gets frustrating, too, because you start realizing, oh, my God, my mind's going in the gutter again. Holy crap. It does get frustrating. 
but we can fix it. Okay. Our minds always want to shift into the gutter. We are going to have negative self-talk. The thing is, once we catch it, we catch it right away. We shift to a positive and that's what we keep on doing. We don't allow ourselves to stay, to let our mind stay in a negative too long. Okay. Then we start, we start finding ourselves going back and forth. Okay. It's like a, a teeter totter. Then we get better and better with it. Then we're staying longer and longer in the positive zone than the negative zone. This is why in a lot of my videos, we talk about a lot of things with the law of attraction. We talk about your environment. That's why your environment is so important. Hang around growing people. Hang around positive people. Hang around people that make more money in you, more successful in you, going where you want to go. Because they're going to push you in that direction. No matter if you know it or not. Because if you, have, you struggle with your mind in the gutter and you're constantly in a negative environment, well... You know, it's, it's going to be tough to change. Okay. Same way with your job. You go to your job 8, 10, 12 hours a day. It's a negative environment. Maybe you might, might want to start thinking about changing that job or changing that environment. Your environment will make you or break you. We can talk when we talk about a success, abundance, and law of attraction. Your environment is better than your genetics. Your environment's better than your heredity. Okay, I have a video on that. I'll post it right here. That's how strong your environment plays in your life. That's why we talk about little pieces of the puzzle when we talk about the area of success, abundance, and law of attraction. But anyway, blessings to you. Hang in there. And the areas of wealth, health, and prosperity, it's really about hanging in there, creating great routines in your life, a morning routine, bedtime routine. If that's all you do, you have a great morning routine, a great bedtime routine. You stay aware during the day of your thoughts. You start slowly changing who you hang out with. You start slowly changing your environments. Things will work out the best for you. Trust me. But blessings to you, and I'll see you in the next video.